Hello, Mark here from Rockin' Walls in Hampstead, Maryland. I wanted to talk about how to build a single-sided wall frame. Now, this is a wall frame that I've used for a retaining wall, as you can see, with a uh, batter of 1 to 6, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, this was built with a uh, 1 by 4, so let's head on over and let me uh, show you how to do that. Okay, now I've marked out this to expedite this video. A couple things, tools you'll need. You'll need some kind of square, a straight edge of some sort, could be a level, tape measure. I like to use a soap pencil, some screws. Uh, the wood that I'm using is a one by four, and then some kind of screw gun. So the first step, basically I'm just gonna do a grid to have some kind of guidelines. So just do my baseline first. Next, bring my square in. Do a vertical line. From there, move my tools out of the way. Next, I'm building a, uh, a three, three foot frame here. So I'm gonna measure up 36 inches. Mark that there. Come over here. Same thing, mark over here. Do another straight line as you guide. Next, we're going with the one to six batter. Batter is the angle of the frame or the angle of the wall. What that means is one to six for every six inches, for every six inches up, the wall comes in an inch. Okay, and we'll talk about them when we get over there. So basically, 36 inches divided by our batter versus six, which is six inches. So next, we need to make a mark of six inches. Now, we can do that two places. We can either do that at the bottom, since I'm here, or it doesn't matter, you can do it at the top. The mark is only a reference. So, I'm just gonna use the one at the bottom. I take my, my frame, my board, which I've actually, these boards have been repurposed so they've already been cut at an angle. More or less, I take my, my board, I put it on the bottom line, the baseline, six inches out, and then I'm gonna aim for this center point on my grid system. And that's pretty much there. So next, you grab your screw gun. Now the, the three foot mark that I made, I want my board just to be sitting on top. This is basically, I'm building a three foot high retaining wall. So this is my guide to help me with that. So take the bottom of this edge here and line it up with this line that I drew. Now, I could put all the screws in, three screws. At this point, technically the frame is finished. Here's my batter frame. Let's head over and I'll show you how that works. Okay, so we got our wall frame built. Once again, this batter is a one to six batter. Once again, for every six inches up, the wall comes in an inch. So you can see there's a slight angle here. Now with my batter frame, what I'm going to do is a few things I'm going to need. I'm going to need some steel wire, some type of hammer, some cutters, and a level in order to install my single sided batter frame. And once again, this is just a one to four. Uh, the level basically allows me to set this here and that's why we have our top bar basically as a guide. So I would set that level. And I'm just going to demonstrate this. Now notice, you may notice or may not notice, but below here, this is a below grade protruding foundation, which is four inches. So it makes it easy. I'm able to set that right on there. And know this is the outside of my edge of uh, my foundation, allowing me to set my frame right there at the, at the end. Next, basically just get your rebar in. Now if you don't have rebar with loops, the loops are um, done by a blacksmith in order for safety purposes. sure to add a safety cap 
to protect those on the job site. Take your wire pre-cut, bring it around, spin it. So basically I'll do two of these, one at the top, one at the bottom. And if you make this fairly tight, it's going to stay there. Now, once again, I'm just the main reason for this is to check that it's level. It also gives me a guide to know that this is the height of the wall when I get to the top. It gives me a sense of where to stop. Now we've talked about that. You want to take your wires, just fold them in or cut them. Make sure no one gets cut with them. Um, same thing, once again, do the same thing down at the bottom. Take that and loop it. But next, I want to kind of talk about some of the different methods of tying a string to the frame. So the reason for the batter boards is it allows you to have a nice guide to build to with your string lines. And that's the whole purpose of the batter boards. The other benefit of having, um, you know, a batter board is, or just having any kind of angle is, uh, you're saving time and money on materials because with the wall getting smaller at the top, uh, you're using less material. So. The back, typically you can do a back uh, frame a lot of uh, times. I'll just use a piece of rebar as an angle. Uh, this one, I kind of knew how wide it was going to be, so I just started wide at the bottom and started coming in at the top because it's a double-sided wall, uh, which is a, a Yorkshire style from uh, England. So let me grab the camera and I'll show you the string lines. Next, we'll talk about the string lines. Now, we have the batter boards both set up, two boards set up. You can do a... Uh, sections at a time as I'm building. I use a two line system, uh, which is what I prefer. And also the uh, spring clips, which are fast and easy to um, move your strings as you go. The benefits of the double string line for me, what I like about them is I, I can be standing right over top the stone and I can look right over top and get the two string lines lined up and sight down. Uh, some people will use a single string line. It's all personal preference. This is a little bit better on your body. Basically what you're doing with this is you're you're taking your, your single string line and you're just lining up with the, uh, the batter frame angle there. Uh, that's pretty much it. Now you can also, uh, you don't have to use the clips, you can just take the rope or string and wrap it around um, your frames at the end. There's another method uh, which is uh, illustrated on one of my other blogs. Thank you so much for checking out my video. Please subscribe. Rockandwalls.com